Welcome to the first episode of Foreigners vs. Japanese Food. Zero percent. Oh! You can't trust this guy. Okay, you want some of that? <laughs> I am Mayuko, I am running a cooking class in Tokyo and so today we're gonna enjoy how foreigners gonna cook Japanese home style food. So let's welcome on my right side from France, Axel. Yeah! <laughs> and from my left side from the US, Patrick. Hello! Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome both of you! So, have you ever made any Japanese food? I've never made Japanese food before. This will be the first time. I don't need to cook Japanese food because I have a Japanese wife. Oh, you have an advantage. Oh. Okay, could you introduce yourself just a little bit to everyone? Alright, <laughs> my name is Axel. I'm from France and I've been living in Japan for more than 12 years and I know nothing about Japanese food. Uh, my name is Patrick. I'm from the U.S. I've been living in Japan for about six and a half years. I also don't know anything at all about cooking Japanese food, so this is going to be quite the adventure. Today you're going to cook gyoza. Oh! Right? So today uh, we have prepared all the ingredients, but plus we have already prepared three ingredients which we don't usually use for gyoza. In seasonings, there are also the ingredients for sauce of gyoza. This is a competition. Patrick and Axel, and then at the end, I'm gonna taste, and then there's a winner. Fight. I'm gonna be honest. I cooked gyoza before. I have the advantage over Patrick here. I actually have cooked gyoza before. Um, I used to live in China. I lived there for three years, and I cooked gyoza once or twice. There ain't any of those in gyoza. I've never seen that. I'm not, I'm not even sure what that is. Look at this thing. I have zero experience with Japanese food in terms of cooking. I've eaten a lot of it. You know, as I said, I have a Japanese wife. I know what cooking Japanese food is. I've seen her doing it. He's very confident. And like he said, he has a Japanese wife. So I'm a bit worried about that. I think he's gonna, he's gonna really bring, bring the competition. But I'm also pretty confident, so. I'm not too worried. And he has a stupid hat. Did you see his hat? It's so stupid. Okay, so let's see. I don't think I've seen that in gyoza before. So I don't, that might be one of the trick ingredients. You know, maybe because you, you've done a lot of Chinese gyozas, but I heard that Japanese gyoza use these a lot. I think you're lying to me. Okay. Can't trust this guy. Gyoza has some green stuff in it. This is for you. <laughs> this is for me. <laughs> oh, wow. All that for you. Thank you. Thank you, Axel. You know what this is? This is tofu. Oh, tofu. <laughs> okay, I'm sure I'm gonna win. Smell, yeah, this is some wine. What? Is this is wine usually in um in, in oh, There are three ingredients that shouldn't go inside, and this goes here for later, Patrick. <laughs> Boom! Tac tac. That's a lot of garlic. Yeah, you want some of that? <laughs> Just for the style, I'm gonna put the disgusting thing in. Mm. I think that this is called konyaku in Japanese. Ah, yes, it's konyaku. Yeah. It's pretty healthy, yeah. kind of superfood. Disgusting. Okay. I dare you to eat Don't. one of those. Do the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, we'll both okay. eat one. Tastes like nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, not that bad. This is vinegar. Would that go in a gyoza? Yeah, if you, if you like to, there's no reason to stop No, me. no, no. They think they can trick me. I know what goes on the side of a gyoza. You know, <laughs> when you eat it, there's a little thing on the side. Nah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I'm pretty puzzled by mm. this uh, spicy mm. curry powder there. Sesame oil. Mm. This is what we're going to use to fry the thing. But there is also this oil now. Are you sure you don't use the curry powder to fry it? I'm just saying. What about tofu? Who eats tofu anyway? Everyone! <laughs> Lots of people eat tofu, but in gyoza? Maybe I put too much uh, soy sauce, I realize now. It smells really strong. Okay. 
the three things I have not put in, konnyaku, the tofu, mm. and the curry powder. What about this one? Oh yeah, white pepper, yes. <laughs> this definitely should go in. What is this for? That's oh, I know, I know. For... <laughs> Let me get myself, myself a glove. Patrick is late. I'm trying to make sure everything was perfect and just right, and I believe I do. So far, I think I'm doing great. It looks like it could become a gyoza eventually. I think I did a good job discerning what those three ingredients were that don't belong in the gyoza. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident this is gonna turn out well, it's gonna taste good. Actually, Axel put too much soy sauce. It seems like he was holding sake all the time, and I'm not sure if he put sake inside, which is necessary for gyoza. He was just drinking, not he was supposed to be in gyoza. For Patrick, his ingredients, especially the cabbage, is too big. So let's see what's gonna happen next. Okay, so this this has the flour mm. on it this side, so that's that goes down. Take my spoon. This is your first wrapping, right? So you're making a taco today. <laughs> 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 You're so gentle with your fingers, Patrick. Yeah, that's yeah. I had to do with gyoza. Look at that. That's cute. Look at this. Yeah, that's a nice shape. It is. It's mm. a very nice shape. Oh, well, you have two more. But I want to try something brand new. No one has thought before. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Basically, anything goes inside of gyoza. Anything could go, right? So the lucky person gonna mm. eat that one with mm. konyaku. Where's the konyaku? Nobody knows. <laughs> A few moments later. <laughs> when I win this competition, mm. you're gonna wish you had been slow like me. <laughs> okay. I just been this place before. I think these look pretty good. Mm. My folding technique, um, basically, you get the filling inside, then of course you put the water, and then you just, you just start folding. You just take a little bit, fold, until you are done. And then when you're really hungry, there you go, ready to eat. Okay, everyone. So first, uh, Axel's one. It looks like tacos or yatsuhashi. And then also, there is a tendency for that novice cook to put something creative, which they think is creative, which was konyaku this time. I think that was too much. And then for Patrick one, he is making gyoza very neatly, which is nice. Usually, uh, the proper one is you know, only water skin makes the pleats. So I hope they are not gonna burn, but still, yeah, I hope they are gonna be crispy and nice. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so, let's see. Jeez. So burner. I'm gonna put some of this oil, 0%. Oh! Oh, that's fine. We pour a little bit on, like that, and then... Oh! <laughs> I'm not going to use a timer. Are you using timer, Axel? I am. Ah, how many minutes are you I don't know. Saying? I don't care. Why, why do you? I <laughs> just, you I just want to use the timer. You just want to use the timer, okay. It says 42 seconds. That's obviously not enough. Yeah, okay, it's a modern technology. Right? Yes, so yes, that's yes. Why you want to use it. This is the part I prefer. Ah, so what are you going to do? What do you mean what I'm gonna no, do? No, 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 I just asked him what do you wanna do next? Yeah, you what, know what I'm do, gonna do? Axel, what are you gonna you do? You have to put water in there. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, go ahead. It's supposed to steam. <laughs> just, <laughs> there's no steam. I think my gyoza is cooked. Yeah, I'm gonna prepare the sauce. Oh, the sauce. Yes, I yes. I the sauce. Yes. There is no need for all these things, Mayuko. Yeah. We know already. You know Come what's on. Inside? There's no tofu in the sauce. Uh, <laughs> I really have no words to describe this anymore. They look very good and like golden, brown and crispy. It started well. I think I got the mix right, but it's the cooking time that I got wrong. And I'm pretty sure you need water at some point. I think Axel's gyoza do not look that great. Like if mine are bad, his is worse. Mm -mm. He flubbed and I think he's gonna pay for it, so that's that. Okay, both of you, great job. Okay, Thank great you. job. Yeah. It was so much fun to see you. And uh, so for you, actually the 
right way is to put water to cook. Okay? <laughs> so what you did was actually the right. Mm. If you could keep cooking for mm. another five minutes, mm. that would be nicer. surprise to me. <laughs> it, it looks like deep fried gyoza. I have never cooked the gyoza in this way so I am really curious about this too. So let's see. Okay so Patrick. Ah uh, it looks like it's cooked. Yeah it's cooked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not cooked enough. It seems like it's got just a heat, right? Mm. So you guys so, gonna mix the... Yeah, the sauce? sauce, I would say a lot of this. Yes, I a also little bit of that. Vinegar. vinegar, soy sauce, vinegar. and then some of that spicy stuff. What's that thing? La yu. Ah, la yu. Mm. It's so spicy. It's spicy. I am going to just use the soy sauce. I trust okay. you guys. There's a hospital okay. near here, so... Okay. Itadakimasu. <laughs> <laughs> Itadakimasu. Mm, nice and crispy. Mm. <laughs> this is like deep fried gyoza exactly like Ooh. that mm. and then this is not bad at all actually mm. and then inside I need I am looking for a little bit more flavor mm. but you didn't put sake oh, right stop. because he was drinking but the texture is really great mm. Mm. <laughs> Now the flavor is actually good, yeah. but it's is a it? little bit strong. The texture is a little bit too soft because of cooking. I wouldn't serve this to my kid. I would serve this to myself. It doesn't taste really good. I knew I had to put water. I, I think I got the ingredients right. It's just the cooking style that was not good. You know, the world is not prepared for this. Foreigners versus Japanese food, gyoza version, episode one. The winner is... To be honest, I, I didn't think I was going to win in the beginning. I was very moderate with the amount of ingredients I put into the into the, the filling. And I think when I cooked them, that crunch is a lot of what makes you know gyoza, this style of gyoza good. You both were right. Unnecessary ingredients for tofu, of course vegetarian virgin. You can use tofu, and then of course konnyaku, and also curry powder. If you like to watch the second episode, comment below what you would like to see. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye bye. Thank you.